nowadays, you know, like going for double legs, um, not very good at the go, but I've got a pretty solid body lock, and this is what we're looking at. The reason why we've come up is because I don't want Jason to get in the numbers. So if Jason does that, I've got a problem. So fully is to keep everything in the knee and peel. Okay? So when I pummel, Jason does the same, so stop me getting the double one. And this time when Jason pummels, I do the same so he doesn't get the double one. Okay? So it's to kind of keep us in that position where the, the other person doesn't have an advantage. Okay? So because we've already learned that, we kind of learned that way that the game is to get both arms underneath. Okay? So if I can keep this nice and high and I pull them under, once I get into this position, I've got to look. This is a strong position for me. And this is what we're going to work on. Okay? So I've got both arms under, I'm going to stick my knee into his chest. Yeah? And do you see my hands are just above his butt cheeks? Yeah? And then from this position, I'm just going to pull his hip in and drive down on that ear into the boss. Okay? So we're going to. Put a little bit of, not resistance, but a little bit of time. So we're going to do three. So one, two, three. On the third one, I'm going to hit my double under. So I'm going to have to pummel the quick on the other side. Ear sticks to the chest. Yeah, hand just goes above the bum. I'm going to suck the hips in. So now he ends up folding. I'm just going to walk forward. Yeah, just let him land gracefully. Don't just let him land the fall time. Okay, so that's that's all we're right now. So we're gonna go three and then fight for a double one. The extra stuff I'm excited about this one. No, we just we're just going through the technique. Okay, the goal is to get to mount. So if you want to start adding like a guard pass now, so when you pass and then it's a guard, or as you're walking down, you can end up in mount. I'm not too fussed which way you do it, whether you're going to a passing situation or you just go on top. Don't fall on them though. Let them land, let them break fall then initiate either a pass or going to man. Yeah, none of this, none of that. <laughs> Just jumping on top, yeah. Effective, but you lose training partners that way. All right, let's finish into man. One, two, three.